Hello everybody! Have you ever wanted to actually do a podcast before? If the answer is yes, then I have the simple tutorial for you guys in this tutorial video here if you guys are interested. And if you guys are, then get ready because this tutorial starts right now. Hello everybody, I'm yours truly Seth Wheat here and in this tutorial I am going to show you guys how to use this website Mixler.com Now in this tutorial here I'm going to go over everything. I'm going to go over how to set everything up and even the sound settings and if you guys have any comments on this video at all make sure you guys comment below and I will give my very best advice to help you guys out with this. So let's get started. So as you guys can see this is the website here. This is Mixler.com Mixler is the type of uh, broadcast website to where you can do podcasts if you guys ever dreamt about doing podcasts, which is really fun because whenever I'm not on here on YouTube, I have my own internet radio show right here on Mixler. So what I'm going to show you guys, first of all, is how to set everything up. So, uh, of course, if you guys have never actually been on here before, it's very, very easy. You guys go over here where it says sign up. Now keep in mind, this is free. The website is free, and uh, but of course, if you guys want actual plans, it's going to cost. So this is what the whole setup looks like here. Of course, you guys see where it says sign up with Facebook, choose uh, ch uh, username, enter your email address, choose password, confirm password, and so on and so forth. Uh, as for me, I already have an account on here, but I'm going to show you guys an example here. And let's say here we want to say uh, uh, Epic Gaming 101. Okay, so let's say you want to sign up. You don't have a Facebook account. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here where it says choose username. I typed the Epic Gaming 101 just to give an example here. And we're going to give an example here as a email address. Uh, Epic gaming 101 at gmail.com and of course and what you do is you choose your own password of course we're just gonna put in something random here and then of course then you're gonna go over to where it says sign up which that's basically that simple so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pretty much sign into my own account here so I'm gonna go back to the main page here and I'm gonna sign up in my own account here so that way I can show you guys all the prices and everything to this so uh, just to show you guys exactly what my page looks like just real quick here this is what my page looks like this is what it looks like this is what it looks like on the uh, computer it looks a lot different if you're on uh, the app which you guys can get the app on the in the app store it is free it does not cost nothing to get the app uh, you guys can get it also on Google Play also it is on Google Play if you guys have that too and this is basically what the whole profile looks like here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and go over to settings here I want to see if I can find oh wait 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 wrong one wrong one wrong one should have clicked on pricing wrong one <laughs> Okay, and then, okay, of course, you see right here, this is everything that's simple here. You see, we got uh, the Mixler Premium, Mixler Premium Plus, and Mixler Pro. Now, if you guys wanted to do three-hour shows, of course, it's going to cost you uh, $9.99 a month or $99 a year. Or, if you wanted to do 12-hour shows, which is what I do, you'd only be paying about 20 bucks a month. Or you could or you could pay two hundred dollars a year, or you could get the uh, twenty four hour a day plan, which is fifty dollars a month or five hundred dollars a year. And basically, like I said, if you guys are just starting out, you do start off with a default plan, which you get an hour each time you broadcast. There is no limit how many times you guys can broadcast. If you want to do an hour one time and then do another hour show and then another, then another, then another, you can do that. There's no limit. Now, if you guys aren't ready to go into a plan like these, then stick to your default plan. 
because there's no limit there's no storage limit nothing uh, if you were to go onto a plan right here like say for example the 999 a month plan if you wanted to go back down to your default plan all your shows that you have they're still there they don't disappear they don't nothing and so of course you sign up for one of them which I have like I said the 12 hour per day which I don't really do 12 hour shows I do at least maybe two hour shows which everybody says that's a waste of money well, not really because every once in a while I'll get one of those to where I will do a 12 hour show uh, I've done it before trust me <laughs> but then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go over to the sound settings now this is what the uh, this is what the whole uh, console is gonna look like whenever you download it on your computer so let me give it a minute here for it to come up here. Now I recommend that if you haven't downloaded this before, keep the current one that they have right now. Otherwise, if you download the new one, you're going to seriously regret it. Now also I'm going to go over uh, sound settings too. See, this is what I'm talking about here where it says new version available. If you guys don't want the new, ver uh, new version, just click out. And the X button right there now see this is the whole console here and of course you got your microphone here which you're going to be using uh, this right here is the volume button for your playlist so you can hear your music but before we do all of that let me go through the sound settings here real quick now if you guys have Windows 10 it's easier to do it this way than to click on control panel and go through all of that when I could just type up sound and go right over here where it says sound <clears throat> now let's say for example you're using a headset so what you're going to use so what you're going to do is right where it says speaker where it says playback your speakers like if you're using a headset what you're going to do is you're going to click on the one that says that and you're going to go where it says def set default device which I'm already using my headset here so I don't really need to do all that but uh, you're going to click on default device when you do that then what you're going to do is you're going to go to properties and you're going to go over to where it says levels now with this you got to make sure your speakers are up and your microphone is up otherwise you're not going to hear nothing so then what you're going to do after that then you're going to go over where it says recording and you're going to go right over to where it says you know whatever microphone you're using like if you're using a regular microphone you know kind of like this um, or if you're using a headset like this you'll look for the one that you're using so uh, once again seeing as i'm already using my headset here this is already the setting already on here so what you're going to do after that you're going to set that of course as your default device as well so then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to properties you're going to go over to where it says listen and right here where it says playback through this device what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the device that you're using like with me using my headset all of this all of it is going to be played back through here through my headset now if you were to use like regular speakers then you would set it on your speakers <clears throat> so then what you're going to do after that you're then you're going to go over to levels and you're going to turn your microphone all the way up so then after you do all of that then you get out of here and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to where it says monitoring and right over here where it says select output device this is what you're going to hear either through your headset or your speakers when you're broadcasting so see for me since i'm using my uh headset once again uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to that and click on channels one and two now i'm not going to actually do this because it's going to sound really weird so but basically whatever you have whatever you're using that's what that's the one you're going to use for your select output device for channels one and two and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over here where it says microphone and once again it's like you're using your headset whatever you're going to click on the microphone that you are using and let's say uh your microphone <clears throat> let's say for example your microphone is already put in your computer the first thing that'll be on your list is the one that's already checked so seeing as my microphone that i'm using for my headset is already checked in here on the computer is already highlighted right here so i don't need to do that now if you really want the music to be playing to where you can hear it you're going to click on this button right here 
and you're going to turn the volume up. That right there is how you'll be able to hear your music through your speakers or your headset, or whatever. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and you got, of course, where it says broadcast, chat, uh, recordings, playlist, preferences. Then what you're going to do, audio late, uh, latency is basically like a delay. So what you're going to do is you're going to set that all the way on 10. And then basically you get out of there, you click on that, you put in a title, put in a random title here. Oops. Okay, and then basically what you'll do after that is you'll click the record button. Now, if you don't want to record live, then you'll just click off of that and click test. And then you click uh, go live on Mixler. And basically, you won't be live. You'll be doing like a, like a uh, pre-recording, if you will. Now, if you want to go live, then you'll click off test and go over to record. Now, when you click record, you will be live. So it's basically that simple. There's nothing really hard about Mixler. Uh, like I said, uh, if you guys have any comments, you know, whatever, I will give you guys the best advice I can possibly give you guys because I know I have, I've had Mixler now for almost uh, actually a year now. So, but I've been broadcasting for four years. So I can give you guys as much tidbits as I possibly can but if I don't know something, then I will give you, then I'll tell you brutally honest <laughs> that I honestly don't know. Uh, but if, like I said, um, it's really not that hard to figure out. Once you guys get this all down pat, you'll be running it just like that. One more thing I forgot to show you guys. And this is uh, one of the other things here. It's not really important, but this is up to you guys. Let's say, for example, for my show, because I play a variety of music. Uh, I put it on eclectic, which is basically a variety. But let's say, for example, if you guys are doing like, oh, dubstep. You'll put it on dubstep slash bass. So because I do eclectic, that's basically what I put it on. So I hope this tutorial has helped you guys enough. And like I said, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment below. And I will do my very best to give you guys my best advice. And with that in mind, of course, as always, I am yours truly, Seth Wheat. And I will see you guys later.